Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I wanted to talk to you about Aurora Cannabis. So apparently, they have just opened up a store in West Edmonton Mall. Here's the story that was just published yesterday, last night. A cannabis store has bought up space in Canada's largest mall. That's right, Canada's largest mall. Aurora Cannabis is set to open its first retail store on the main floor of West Edmonton Mall, setting up directly across the Two Guys with Pies hemp accessory store. The move by the cannabis giant has anti-pot activists unhappy. I don't think it should be in the space at all, said Luke Neforatis of Smart Approaches to Marijuana. If there are kids that are congregating at the mall, there absolutely should not be a marijuana shop anywhere around there. Wow, this is very interesting. The company says it is still in the planning process at the West Edmonton Mall location, something the Alberta Gaming, Liquor, and Cannabis Commission confirmed. If Aurora is in the midst of the licensing process, that process is on hold until licensing resumes. As it stands right now, we don't have a license issued for a retail location in West Edmonton Mall, said Heather Holman of the Alberta Gaming, Liquor, and Cannabis Commission. So they don't have a license yet, but they fully intend to get a space at the West Edmonton Mall. This is huge. This is huge. These guys are just taking over. Aurora Cannabis is just taking over West Edmonton Mall. It's crazy. This was published from CTV News Edmonton, and you're hearing it here first probably from your boy Rich. If you're not winning, you're not watching. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything we talk about. Aurora Cannabis is a weak sell, a 24% sell on bar chart. The average short-term outlook on maintaining the current direction. Long-term, the trend strength is minimum. Long-term indicators fully support a continuation of the trend saying that they will continue to go down based on this however it is up 15 percent in the last month 53 percent in the last three months and 74 percent since august 14th of last year and it has a 52 week high of 12 dollars and 51 cents on october 16th the day before legalization. So it has been a roller coaster ride for Aurora Cannabis. And this is the number one reason right here is the shares. The outstanding shares of 958,496,642 is just an astronomical number. So that's the big issue here with Aurora. There's just too much dilution. That's the reason why the stock isn't going higher. Some of their counterparts have. 200 million shares, 300 million shares, 100 million shares, or even less. And that's why you see them going higher than Aurora. But I believe long-term, Aurora is positioned to be one of the strongest companies, if not the strongest company in the entire world. It's right now between them and Canopy Growth for 1-2. Until anybody else knocks those guys off the charts as number 1 and 2, they will maintain this ranking as one of the biggest giants in the cannabis sector. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree with me? Do you disagree with me? If you like this video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere. If I win and you win, we all win. Aurora Cannabis to open in West Edmonton Mall. They're not fully ready to go. They don't fully licensed, but they're getting ready. Look, the store's getting ready. It's getting built. It's true. This is your boy, Rich. I'm out. Peace.